Alger just pushes him. Kevin Jackson tries the arm spin, tries it again, doesn't get it. He's got to spin through just a little bit further to make that successful. Minute 10 down now. No, no cautions on either wrestler. But, Al, but Alger keeping Jackson in the zone there. Jackson just can't stay in the zone like that. First caution goes against Alger. Crowd doesn't really like that because they see Jackson standing in the zone. But Jackson is just Jackson's tried something. Alger has tried nothing so far. 3:20 now to go. Pushing and shoving, no action here to speak of. And other than a couple arm spins, Jackson hasn't tried to score on anything either. Oh, got into the body lock, but Jackson wasn't able to score on it. Halfway through the match now, 0-0 the score. Jack Alger again hitting that deep duck under, but Alger doing it, or Roy Jackson, oh boy, let me start all over. Jackson hit the duck under, Alger countered real well. Jackson, Alger in now on the single, comes across with both legs, and he takes him down for one point. Jackson did a good job of not going to his back, really. Two minutes, 11 seconds to go, 1-0 the score. now, 1-0 to score, Alger leading, Alger in the red singlet, Kevin Jackson in the blue singlet, Jackson goes for the double underhook, but has to let it go, Jackson has showed that he can score from anywhere, so Royce has to really be on his guard. showed that if you attack low on a Royce Alger type guy, you might be able to take him down. He's been unsuccessful attacking the hips. Jackson stays in bounds, fortunately, otherwise he'd have been cautioned. They've got one caution each. the score. That looks like the second caution on Jackson now. He's got to watch it. He's got to stay on the mat. flurry of action there as Jackson hit that deep duck again, tacked the body, but when he wasn't able to score, Royce trying to spin around behind him. Royce in on the single now and scores on it with 18 seconds to go. So that makes the score two to one, 15 seconds now. This will probably hold up because Jackson's just too tired to move. And that'll end it. Royce Alger in the red singlet coming out the winner. Two to one over Kevin Jackson. So Royce Alger will represent the United States in the Goodwill Games and the World Team 
Championships in Tokyo. And we're underway here, 90 kilo, 198 pounds. In the blue singlet is Jim Shear of the Sunkiss Kids. In the red singlet, Mark Coleman representing the New York Athletic Club. Jim Shear, the winner in the earlier bout with a an uneventful, really, three to nothing win over Mark Coleman. So this is the second and possibly the deciding bout. Coleman was the